O3 Mini is coming to ChatGPT, but a lot of people are speculating that this is way ahead of schedule and that OpenAI didn't want to release O3 Mini to the public this early, but DeepSeek R1 forced their hand. DeepSeek R1 outperformed OpenAI O1 on multiple benchmarks. It's also 27 times cheaper than OpenAI O1, and most importantly, it's available to try for free. So OpenAI making O3 Mini available to the free tier of ChatGPT is definitely spin control. They're trying to save face here and simultaneously distracting people from the fact that DeepSeek is threatening their supremacy. So how does DeepSeek R1 compare to O3 Mini? Well, it's actually very competitive, at least on benchmarks. At coding, it's more or less the same as O3 Mini, same thing for math. And so really, it does seem like OpenAI releasing O3 Mini is their attempt at trying to regain their moat. But at the same time, we are just talking about O3 Mini here. And so unless DeepSeek has another more powerful reasoning model up their sleeve, the upcoming launch of O3 later in 2025 will probably blow everything else that we've seen out of the water, but it's not gonna be open source. And so DeepSeek still has an advantage